And what can you and I do to counter negative thoughts that impact our self-image? Well, good morning this morning and welcome to Time Out. My name is Jack Vint and uh, it's great to chat with you again this morning. I want to say, are you unhappy with who you are as a person? They say that suicidal tendencies have alarmingly increased during this pandemic. It's almost like it's been added to all the stuff that you are going through at this time. And what can you and I do to counter negative thoughts that impact our self-image? There was a play called Hamlet. Long ago you may have heard about it and in it was Polonius, one of the characters that famously said, To thy own self, Jack, be true. That reminds me of a scripture in Genesis 1.27. And in the New Living Translation, it says, So God created human beings, you and I, in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. And so I want to say this morning that your self-image, long before you and I did anything wrong, long before you and I felt anything, was set as a default in our lives, in a DNA, when God said He created us in His self-image. Because our self-image, of course, is how we see ourselves, how you see yourself, and then how you believe or perceive others to see you, creates your self-image. So a healthy self-image is critical for us, especially during times when we're going through stuff. If you're going through stuff this morning, I want to say to you, You're not the only person and maybe you have feelings and maybe you have strong thoughts. I understand that, but just remember where you come from. You were created in God's image long before you could contribute anything in your life. God set that as a default. And so I want to encourage you this morning. You know, when I make a mistake and it's many times, I have a joke. I say to myself, Jack, you're an idiot. But then I just follow that up by saying the following. Oh, Jack, you're not just any idiot. You are God's idiot. (laughs) Because you were created in His image. And so I want to say to you this morning, there are things that you can do to build a healthy self-image, even as you remember where you come from. You know, people say uh, they have close friendships if they're Christians with God or with their wives or husbands or best friends or children and there's nothing wrong with close relationships but I want to say to you this morning when you're listening to this this is a good idea be also your own best friend you have to consider yourself as a best friend because you see you spend most of your time with you you spend most of your thoughts with you you spend most of your energies with you. And so it would be a good idea to start by saying, I need to be my own best friend. And so how can I do that? Because the first relationship that you're exposed to when you grow up is you. And so these are the things I want to share with you that can help you build a healthy or maintain a healthy self-image. The first one I would like to say is the first person that you need to love is you. I know it sounds vain and you it's not natural, but let me just say it's in the Bible because the Bible says in Mark 12 verse 31, Jesus said the second, when he spoke about the greatest commandment, he said that, and then he said the second, which is equally important, this is equally important to the first commandment, to love God, is love your neighbor, Jack, as yourself. God encouraged us to love ourselves because if you can't love yourself, You can't love others. And of course, you will struggle to love God. So look in the mirror this morning and say, I love you. Because God said, I need to love you. (laughs) And He does. And there it reminds me of a scripture God demonstrated to us this principle. In Romans 5 verse 8, it said, But God demonstrated His own love for us in this. This is what God did, Jack. That while we were still sinners, in other words, while we were unable to do anything, God died for us. 
while we could not contribute anything positive or negative, God said, I love you. And so I'm going to show you that I love you. That's why I can look in the mirror and say, I love you. The second thing I want to encourage you is the second one would be the first person I need to forgive is me. The first person you need to forgive is you. Now, there may be many people you need to forgive, but you have to start with you. Because if you can't forgive you, you won't be able to forgive other people. And you may even have a grudge against God. And the reason you can forgive is because God has forgiven you. God has forgiven me. He demonstrated that when he died on the cross. And so when God introduced himself, the first thing that God did when he introduced us to a relationship was to say, I love you. The second one was to say, I forgive you. Those are the two key fundamental things to building a healthy self-image is to remind myself where I come from. Where do you come from? Before your parents were around, before your mistakes were around, before all the failures in your life were around, those things happened. Without you doing anything, God said, I choose to create you in my own image. And then, of course, the last one would be the first person I have to accept is me. Now, I may have made many mistakes and so have you. And you may have felt failures and frustration and you may feel that you want to reject yourself. But you can't do that because God has already accepted you through Jesus Christ. And so you can feel now the only person that can pronounce a pardon over your life, which is powerful, is you. You have to forgive yourself. Look in the mirror and say, I forgive you no matter what you've done. And the basis of that is because God has already forgiven you. But it's important that you forgive you. And uh, if you were choosing uh, a team like we did when we were children to play a game, would you choose you? And you should. Because you have been loved and you've been forgiven. You know, people often confuse confidence and acceptance. I believe in confidence because maybe your skills and everything, your experience gives you confidence. But you know where confidence comes from? Acceptance. The more I'm accepted or believe I'm accepted, the more confident I feel. And so I want to say to you, you are accepted this morning. And so when you look back, remind yourself that your self-image doesn't flow from the stuff that you've done or gone through. Your self-image flows from what God did many years ago when you were not able to contribute. When he said he created you in his image, you have a DNA that is like God. So when I feel like an idiot, I say to myself, maybe that's true, but I'm not just any idiot. I am God's idiot. And so as you reflect this morning, know God loves you, God has forgiven you, and God has accepted you. Maybe that's something that you also should do. My name is Jack Vint. You've been watching Time Out, and I'll catch you next week. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with.